What's up CEOs? So today is auto dealer training and we're gonna be breaking down the Texas dealer license requirements. So if you wanna join this video live, it goes down live inside the Facebook group, Dream Dealership, and you can join live. It happens there first and then it, this video is uploaded to YouTube. Please like and share if you find this valuable. And you can also ask questions and get additional information to help you along the way, okay? I'm Shamel Leonard, and I do these live videos um, to help auto dealers because I am an auto dealer, started out uh, in a lot, in a, a office, and then grew to a lot, and just had no idea what I was doing. And I thought to myself, like, why is there not an auto dealer business school? Like, there are resources for dealers, but nothing to teach you how to run the business and like what you need to run the business. So that's what we do at the Auto Dealer Business School. If you want to join this video live, then there will be a link in the description so that you can join and um, and then you can get in on the Q&A to help you be better at what you do. Okay, let me roll up the window because this traffic is crazy. So, um, Today's video is brought to you by the Drama Free Licensing VIP. So we have a new and improved Drama Free Licensing VIP program at the Auto Dealer Business School. What is that? I'm so glad you asked. It is the license and launch service for small dealers uh, and, and big dealers. Like if you want to open a bigger dealership. Uh, definitely, but it is the license and launch service that focuses on starting small, starting conservative, and growing your business. So we do focus on practices that help you to save time and money and to get up and going as fast as possible. So in Drama Free Licensing, it is a done for you service and we have a licensing agent, you have a licensing agent work with you to complete all the requirements. So that's from finding the location, to uh, getting it approved, to setting up your business, to submitting your application, okay? Getting your bond, your garage liability insurance if you need it, helping you to get everything for the application submitted. And then also following up with the state because you know, the state, they are a government agency and sometimes their timeline is not our timeline. So following up with the state and then after you are licensed, helping you to uh, get your dealer tags, sign up with auctions and buy your first cars as a licensed dealer. So if you are interested in Drama Free Licensing VIP, then what I'm actually doing right now is I am doing free strategy sessions so that you can talk with an advisor, me, on what is the best strategy to get started, what are the requirements, and how much it costs. So in my last strategy session, I just did a strategy session yesterday where I broke down the cost for the new dealer so that they could see very clearly what their specific costs were to get started where they were getting started. So if that is something that you are interested in doing, then um, comment strategy and I will send you a link to schedule a free strategy session. All right, and then this video is also brought to you by Dealer License Crash Course. So now if you wanna do it on your own, you wanna save even more money, uh, maybe you have a lot of time on your hands so it won't you know, dig into your time, then you can join the Dealer License Crash Course and it'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to complete the licensing process in your state, all right? So without further ado, my Texas people who are interested in becoming a licensed dealer in Texas, okay? One thing we know about Texas in terms of, of starting this business there is there is no mass tra transit. Also, Texas is massive. So to do anything, to get anywhere, everyone needs a vehicle and a private vehicle as well. So that is a, a car, all right? So by just surveying the scene and starting out with your business plan, Texas is by far a great state to open a used car dealer license uh, or a used car dealership, 
all right so <clears throat> what are the licensing types that they offer they offer a retail license they call it the gdn they offer a wholesale license and they offer a salvage license now the retail license allows you to sell to customers the wholesale license you can only sell to other licensed dealers or other businesses and then the salvage license you'll need if you want to do sell rebuilt uh title cars okay and if you want to sell more than five of them in a year uh, their renewal times are every two years. So every license needs to be renewed every two years, except for the salvage license, it is renewed every year. Okay, so consider that in your price, in your costs, in your startup costs. So um, how do you then apply for a license and become approved? You need to take a pre-licensing class in Texas. You also need a location. Now, Texas requires a office and office as well as five display spaces now their display spaces need to be distinguishable so they have to like be roped off with permanent barriers okay we do have examples of what that looks like we work with several dealers in texas uh so we can show you what that looks like and a lot of times it looks like having an office and contracting the parking spaces with the landlord uh, but then letting the landlord know that you have to do something um, with the spaces, um, maybe even put something in the ground, in the concrete to distinguish your display spaces from the rest of the parking lot. OK, and then, of course, you have to have customer parking as well. So after you have found your location, then uh, you need to get a certificate of compliance and which is zoning approval. And after you um also after you find your location you'll need to start your business okay um now it's not required but it is recommended it is always recommended to protect your personal assets by doing business within the entity of a business and um if you are incorporating which is an inc or organizing which is an llc then you can do that with the secretary of state uh, in Texas, or if you are registering a DBA, which is doing business as because you already have a registered business, and this is just another uh, department or another venture, if you will, for lack of a better word, then you can do a DBA. Okay, so uh, and if you need help with any of these things, this is what we help with in the Drama Free Licensing VIP. We consult with you on what is the best way to go now we aren't tax advisors i'm not a tax advisor so you know incorporating and organizing is a tax strategy so you will have to seek that information from a tax advisor but we do know a lot about incorporating and organizing in dbas and can guide you in the right direction on what that looks like once you become a licensed dealer all right so then after you set up your organization get your EIN you need to register your business with the Department of Revenue in Texas and then um, you need to get a bond which a bond is an insurance policy for the public so in case you do something shady then your customer can recoup their expenses or recoup damages that's the word I'm looking for with your bond by filing a bond claim okay so you have to have a bond and then you have to have fingerprints and you apply in Texas online. So you set up an application, you apply online. I also recommend that while you are applying for your GDN license, I recommend a retail license, uh, your GDN license. And I recommend retail because that's where you're gonna have uh, the most money-making opportunity unless wholesale is just strictly your jam, right? Like, unless you have like, um, a stream of cars that you can get and you know a lot of dealers and you can unload those cars really fast like unless wholesale is your jam unless you're a mechanic or someone who has access to a lot of inventory uh, for cheap then retail is going to be the way to go okay so um, after you apply for your your retail license I do recommend that you also put in your finance license 
uh, with the state of Texas because they require you to have a finance license to do buy here, pay here, or even third party financing. Okay. So um, while your dealer license is being approved, then your finance license can also be in review. That license is called the OCCC license, OCCC. Okay, and their application process is online as well. You'll need a copy of your retail contract agreement, um, as well as um, a couple of other things they want you to prove. All right, uh, which is about your business and about who you are. All right, so that is how you get started as a licensed dealer in Texas. Um, and I'm trying to think what else to leave you with to help you to make a decision on if that's a good idea for you or not. So if there is a question that you have, let me know in the comments about, hey, um, what about this? Or is this a good idea for me, et cetera? Put that in the comments. And if you are really serious, ready to go, um, you can schedule a strategy session, comment strategy uh, in the comments, okay? That's what I didn't talk about was money. <laughs> I was like, it was something. So money, funding, you do need funding. So this is a business that requires funding. Um, it is not a, one of those businesses where you can have no funds and it's easy to be successful. You do have to have funding. You do have to know how to invest it. Well, the Auto Dealer Business School has partnered with a funding agent that has over 280 funding partners. Now, why is that important? Well, because I also am on YouTube looking at different lenders and their new programs. There's always a new credit union with a different um, program that you can try out that, um, you know, that's funding people and giving money away. I simply do not have the time to track all of that. But our funding agent who has 280 funding sources does. That is exactly their jam. That is what they do. And they can know exactly where to place uh, your application so that you get approved. And you can get approved up to $400,000. It is deposited lump sum in your personal bank account. So this is not credit card money or on a card. It is actual cash money that you can use to fund your business. So if that is something that you're interested in, comment funding, and I will send you a pre-qualification link. The pre-qualification does not require any personal information at all. It just simply walks through a few questions to see if you are most likely to be approved for this type of funding. And if so, how to move forward. All right, CEOs. So yes, you need some money. The more money you have, the better. Especially if you're thinking about doing buy here, pay here, you need lots of money because you will need a team and you will need money to float until you have enough payments to be able to cash flow your business. So then you need money. <laughs> Moral of the story, right? So uh, comment funding, if you wanna pre-qualify for some funds so that you can start your business, this business, or any any other car-related business um, that you have in your mind and in your heart. All right, CEOs. So I think that might be all. Uh, the Texas license process is pretty straightforward. It can be tricky for, a you know, a couple of reasons. There are a couple of things. It's always with the location, right? So it is wise to get some help. And if you do want some help, I'm here for you. But it is not impossible to do on your own. All right, CEOs. I'm always praying for your success, but success prayers without the action is dead. It doesn't lead anywhere. It takes action out here. Man, that was a lesson that I definitely had to learn that you have to take action to move your dreams forward and you have to take the right action. You have to make the right decisions, meaning the decisions that will lead you towards your goal and not away from the decisions that won't distract you, that will actually inspire you, propel you forward. It takes the work, no matter what business you decide to do. Even if you don't decide to be a licensed dealer or open a, a car lot or a used car dealership, you still have to learn the same lessons about um, product, selling, um, what people want to buy, uh, customer service, 
you know, people's buying habits and behaviors, marketing, you have to learn all those things for business. All right. So if this is the business for you and this information has been helpful, then maybe this is the mentor for you. And if you think so, then comment strategy and I will send you a link. We can talk and see how this can work out for you and for your dreams. Okay. Your dream dealership. All right, CEOs. So be blessed and I will see you in the next training. Bye.